Who record on your thing, bro? Oh, look at a little red dot. Yep, red dot. Matches the camera dot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You want to start it or you want me to start it? What you want to say? Back in business with the veteran Pro Wash twins. What? We can't say that. No, we ain't no damn twin. I'm not like you. Yeah, you don't look like me either. What's going on YouTube? Kale and Jacob here with Veteran Pro Wash. Yeah, Veteran Pro Wash. Just arrived to the warehouse building that I mentioned in the last video that we were gonna be doing this weekend. Um, we gotta clean the roof, which is TPO, and the full exterior of the building. It's right at 107,000 square foot of TPO roof. How much is the building? Building's a lot, like four times that. It's big. <laughs> but we're gonna get some drone shots so y'all can get a better view and then we'll see y'all in the week. So we made it up on the roof a little bit ago. Um, we went ahead and started cleaning. We got this section behind me clean. It's about 10,000 square foot. Uh, still got about 97,000 square foot to go. Um, the thing with these TPO roofs, the reason people use them is because they're very durable. And whenever it comes to sunlight exposure and heating up, they last a long time and they're a lot easier to keep clean. Um, this one's pretty dirty. So that's the difference between where we cleaned out already and what's not clean. Still got a good bit to go. Um, a lot of times, depending on how hot the chemical, chemical mixture is, you don't have to put a surface cleaner on it. It will still lighten it up a little bit. But this whole section right here, we went with about a 6%. So we had the chemical pretty hot and we were able to treat everything. And then I was just able to come back with a ball valve and rinse all of it off. Um, some spots, did take a little more time. I had to apply a little pressure with the ball valve to get them to clean up completely. But we got about 30,000 square foot coated with chemical uh, between this side I'm standing on right now and the other side where Kale's working. One of the biggest selling points that we sell the customer on whenever it comes to these TPO roofs is all the black attracts the sunlight and it holds in the heat. So it causes the electricity bill to, to go up if it's clean and it's all white, it reflects the sunlight, so you're not gonna heat the building up as much. So it might save them some money in the end on the electricity bill. Um, I took the drone whenever we came and bid the job and looked at the job, put it up in the air, and we saw that the roof was, was a TPO roof and that it was all black. So that was one of the key selling points whenever we were telling the customer that we could send him a bid on cleaning the roof was that the roof was black. We showed him the drone pictures. He said, yeah, give it to me in a separate price. Um, and then they ended up going for it. Also, if you do pick up one of these jobs and you've never done TPO roof cleanings, um, before you even start or before you put a surface cleaner on it for sure, you wanna do a, a thorough walk around, make sure that there's no big rips or tears or anything like that. Um, if there's something that's been patched up and it doesn't look like it's patched up very well, we tend to, um, avoid those areas with a surface cleaner to prevent it from leaking. So normally we'll try to mark them with a piece of tape or something like that and then we'll just rinse over them with a ball valve with a lot less pressure than the surface cleaner. So we don't ever put direct pressure on stuff like that. Pod pack. All your single serve coffee and tea needs. Tea needs. Tea needs. Tea needs. Tea needs.
All right, guys, so we just got back from getting chemical uh, three days later. Um, we went last week to go get chemical, but they were out. We were able to fill up one more time. We were going to get 250 gallons, but we were only able to get 110. So we came back, coated everything with what we had, and we still got about 35,000 square feet of roof left. And then we're gonna start on the sidewalks in the front and on the side of the building. We were able to get chemical this morning. We went and knocked out two residential jobs and then came straight here. We got here at about four o'clock. We're gonna to try to finish up the roof tonight, hop to the sidewalks, hopefully get those knocked out. Um, we are full on chemical. The rest of the roof is treated. So we'll be able to roll with the surface cleaners from here on out on the roof. And then whenever we get to the sidewalks, we'll pre-treat those. Um, probably with about the same mixture we did on the roof, just to see how it goes. They're kind of dark. So we started with about a 3% today to try to conserve some chemical on the roof. So we'll run that same uh, mixture on the sidewalks, get those cleaned up. And then we got the building, but we may start on the building tomorrow during the day. We're gonna be back over here tomorrow evening. So if we start on the building tomorrow evening, we should be able to get most of it knocked out. We may have to come back and do a final touch up on a few spots, but y'all stay tuned and we'll see how it goes. So we got a little bit left on the roof. Um, we just came back for the third day. We called our chemical distributor yesterday. They said that they didn't have any chemical left. So we went ahead, we knocked the sidewalks out, finished up at about three o'clock this morning. Um, we're gonna put the trailer set up back on the roof to finish a little square. We got about 5,000 square feet left up there to clean. And then uh, where are we going next? Uh, me and Jacob, we're gonna take the truck with the skid. We're gonna be working on the building, getting all the siding clean. Uh, they really want us to target the top flashing. That's one thing that stands out, the owner had pointed out, uh, around the letters on the building. So we're gonna be working that while Darren's up on the roof. And once he finishes up, probably move both systems and start knocking out the building, try to get out of here tonight. If not, we'll have to get chemical in the morning when they get a new shipment. And we'll move back in tomorrow night sometime to wrap it up. Got the chemical set at about a 4%. Hitting this side, this was the worst side, this is the north side. Doesn't get as much sunlight as all the other sides. So. Just finished hitting this whole side of the building all the way down. We're gonna use the J-Rod on our mini gun on the pressure washer to rinse everything off. All the brown or rinse out, it was all green before we hit it with chemical. Everything that turned brown, the J-Rod to take care of. We also have a stream tip on that that we use for higher up places where the ball valve won't reach. Um, if we need to, we can put it on the end of a wand to give us about an extra two feet and then whatever is left, whatever doesn't rinse out, we'll go back and we'll hit again with chemical. Got you. 
Got the crying G and the crying D. Mm -hmm. Very tearful. We might yeah. would make it if we weren't blowing through 900 we gallons. We could probably cut it back. We got it on about a four or five right now. We could probably cut it back to about a two or a three on everything else. This was the worst shot. All right, rinse off for the most part. I don't know what it is about chemical. Is anybody else having trouble getting chemical right now? Is, is uh, anybody else's area getting oversaturated with soil force companies going and buying 400 gallons of chemical at a time every day? Joe Biden! Because ours sure <laughs> is. People are just... You can't just... find good help nowadays. It's either they work hard and their brain's missing, or they're, they don't work hard and they're a genius. I don't understand it. I mean, I'm, I'm no. a genius. I just no. don't like to work. This, this one right here, he, he's Hold up, dumb. you kind of confuse me, because Darren's an idiot and he don't like to work. I know, he's a beggar. He's like a bum. <laughs> yeah, he is. Look at him. Dude will come to work for six hours and wonder why it's not payday. First day on the job, he's wondering, is it payday? So yeah, you know yeah. what? He's about to learn a lesson from the real world. He thinks We're holding working. his first paycheck. Sure. All these big companies hold your first paycheck. So guess what? Veteran Pro Wash, we gotta hold that first paycheck. That way we can pay you when you quit. Damn, he, he ain't even made a week yet. He been working for us for six months. He ain't made a week, you know that? Six months? He worked for us and then we fired him because he chose to go on senior trip and he graduated eight years ago. No, I'm talking about since, uh, since Buddy quit. Since Buddy quit, Darren came on the first job with us about three months ago. And he's only worked about three days, so he ain't even made a full paycheck yet. Exactly. We'll pay him in about three months. I just can't believe you told him to charge it and they didn't. That's a shame. Boycott O'Reilly's, do business with AutoZone. We try to charge our own battery, but our battery charger, we need to upgrade. It takes about three and a half weeks to fully charge it. That's what I'm saying, or you can do it for free at O'Reilly's. Apparently not. You can go drop it off for free. They just ain't gonna charge it. Oh, you wanted us to hook it up? You wanted us to charge it for you? Nah. I think you gotta play that stupid card where they say, I think, hey, man, I think it's a dead battery. Well, we can check. No, it's good. We might just need to charge it. We'll put it on the battery charger real quick. It'll be done in an hour. That's what you gotta do. Moved around to the front side of the building, got over the breezeway, um, all treated with chemical, waiting on it to finish reacting, and then we're gonna start rinsing everything. Moved down the rest of the front of the building, so. A little bit. Moved around to the back side of the building. He'll just started coating all that. So we're gonna move our way down. Um, we got about 20 gallons of chemical left, so we're gonna use what we got left and then 
We'll have to come back tomorrow afternoon and finish up after we're able to get more chemical. We're gonna finish the backside. There's a few more spots up front that we couldn't reach that we're gonna have to get from the roof. Um, and after that, that'll pretty much be a wrap. To both of them. Both of them. Both yeah, what? No, we don't. Why the hell would we have two YouTubes? Oh, it's two TikToks. Hey, y'all go check out Veteran Pro Wash and then go check out Veteran Pro Wash number two. Make sure you hire the right people. Do an extensive background check on them. Dude, I've been here. He lied on his I'm application. OG. I'm the OG. I was here first. When it all was coming up. There's no good fall. We just made it back to the job. Got started back up on the back side of the building. Um, we quit last night. We realized that we had some water back feeding into our chemical tank. Um, I did video us fixing that earlier. That's gonna be in a different video. I'll post that video down in the description box. So go ahead and check that one out. Um, it was the check valve, had some trash in it. So if y'all wanna see how to take that apart, how to get it apart and how to clean it out properly, that video will be linked below. Go check it out, but for now we're gonna get back to it. Uh, we got about, I'd say about 40% of the backside done. Corporate facility that was in. See, I'm be cleaning both wazer. Bro, can I get a beer? We just finished up on the back side of the building. We got a few more spots that we're gonna wipe that's on the flashing at the top of the building. We don't have enough pressure on the pressure washer to be able to knock the brown off after the SH kills it off. guys we just wrapped everything up um, finished up everything on the roof got the whole back side of the building done both sides of the building the front side of the building and we got the flashing up top wiped down real good um, we were unable to reach the flashing with the pressure washer so we didn't want the chemical sitting on it too long because it could possibly leave some dots depending on what kind of paints up there um, got everything knocked out we're gonna get with the customer see if he wants to set up a day to come meet out here and take a look at everything Close this job out on the books, and maybe they got some more work for us in the future. We don't know. No, we know exactly <laughs> what we're working in two nights. I said them. Oh. This, the, the owners of this. But anyway, y'all stay tuned. Um, I'm going to put the link to the check valve in the description, so y'all be sure to go check that out. And we'll see y'all next time. But until then, y'all stay happy, humble, and money hungry. Later. <laughs>